Hello everyone and welcome to yet another Defrag demo review. My name is Crazy Al and I'm joined by the one and only Chris Theo. How's it going? Hello, hello. How are we doing? You alright? Not bad, mate. Not bad. Uh, nice. Bor Boris Canopy is the World Cup 475. I think, I think Boris has scared a few people off this week, hasn't he? I think he has, yeah. Um, he might have done. If you haven't checked out, I would recommend going on to the work, uh, the DF dfcomps.ru site and checking out the comments left in the uh, in the post for this. Um, oh right, this okay. Yeah, what, what am I missing? Sure you, what, make sure you use Google goss? Translate and translate it to English. I'm not going what's to go into it because it's huge. There's tons of comments, but it's a good a, a gist. Uh, well, people people generally aren't a fan of the map. Really? I don't, I don't think it's the map specifically. But it's right. it's it's about the order of maps and the DF comps website and how they're. Can't please them. everyone. You can't please you can't, anyone. No, you cannot. You can't please anyone in the defrag yeah. community. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, as a result, we have not a lot of demos to look at today. We've got six in VQ3 and eight in CPM. Well, we've got seven in CPM. There's eight results, but we're only going to watch seven. Uh, for good reason. Shout, massive shout outs to Craven for putting the effort in and completing this map, but it is a 36 minute demo. Ah, so, did, he up, did he upload that? Yeah, <laughs> I was lucky enough to catch the end of the run uh, on stream when he streamed it. So oh cool. right, okay. Um, so yeah, props to Craven for persevering and finishing it. Not only finishing the map, but finishing it online, so it's a, it's a true record. <laughs> uh, but yeah, was there much machine be... gunning <laughs> I, I and ululating pro probably was yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we won't be looking at that demo because it's very long um, but yeah, screw awesome... that guy we don't... <laughs> yeah we, we hate Craven no I'm only joking he's a good lad <laughs> oh, they were good lads they were a good person um, but I love this map I thought this map was really fun I've still been playing it uh, I was playing it today actually I think it's a great I stopped. Map. I've stopped now, but um, yeah, I, I still haven't got a clean run, which um, I'm annoyed at. Ah, oh, well, you can't please everyone. It's in me, though. It's in me. I, I, I don't need to complete the run to know I can do it. So. It, is, it does seem like a hard map, but it's really not that difficult. There's maybe there's one part I think is genuinely um, quite tricky. tricky in CPM because it's built for VQ3. Um, okay. But other than that, I think this point that is... out to me later. Yeah, I will do. Um, well, I can point it out to you now. Let's Why do don't it. we jump on into the demos and see what we got? Starting Top in q 3 obviously. And it's Raven 152. Let's go. So, Boris Canopy. Um, fantastic map in terms of visuals. I think this map looks awesome. It's a really cool design. Yeah. Poon Wood versus Boris Canopy. What's your uh, what's what looks oh, better? What's the better better tree based map? Yeah, better tree um, based, based map. I think they're both equally great because they're both different. They're both different because obviously Poon, Poon Wood oh, is no, a no, CPM no, 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 only. No. I've made a mistake. You see. Well, what have you done? It's, it's, it's technical issues once again. Have you have you not started the recording? We're not, we're not capturing the game. Right there we go. Uh, ah, Raven, okay. one minute fifty-two. Let's go. Let's go, Raven. <laughs> Apologies, but we're in it now. Uh, but yeah, in terms of tree-based maps, I think Poon Wood is the best tree-based strafe map, and yeah. uh, Boris Canopy is the best tree-based weapon map. There you go. Yeah, I'd agree. I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. Very diplomatic answer, but yeah. Well, obviously, I prefer this map because it's a rocket map. Yeah, that's true. And I thanks. played both a, a huge amount, so I, I don't know. Just like being up in the trees, I guess. More yeah. tree-based maps, please. I think <laughs> is the answer. Yeah. Give us more tree-based maps, more plant-based maps. <laughs> more plant-based maps, yeah. Um, so vegan, because, vegan maps. Because of the uh, the way that we display usernames, we're going to see tremendous tree trunk triumph for most of these demos. Oh no! Displayed on the screen. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I can't see it already, I'm, I'm blind to it. Um, yeah, pretty, it's kind of difficult, kind of tricky plasma section there, but moving gets it's, it's a bit tricky, yeah. So this is the this is the part I was talking about, I think is kind of difficult, because it's the, you know, 
big uh, rocket and grenades. Oh, I see what you mean. So yeah, you don't here. actually need to you don't need to accelerate in VQ3 because you're going the same speed as the rocket, whereas yeah, you need to exactly. accelerate in CPM. Right, right, right. Yeah. This this bit can be a little bit tricky in CPM because you can go so much faster on slick. Yeah. Um, so it's really easy to overshoot that. But Raven's making easy work like, of this fight. Making mince meat of it. Yeah. And the last turn into the last slick. Nice rockets. Oh. Yes, we can be. Let's go. Nice. Well played to Raven. Next up, we have sensor AV 132.2. Sensor did really good on this map this week. Nice oh. pre fire. There's the speeds. Lost it all, but hey, all good. It's alright, you kind of nice. need to lose it um, in that section. Gets the stack. This is super weird as well. I don't know how this section works. How you sort of kept the floor. Yeah, yeah. It's, it feels super strange, but you know it works. Nice plasma section. Just straight, straight into the hole. Sensor in the chat says too difficult map in VQ3 for me. I don't agree. I think you're making a a good job of this one so far. Yeah. yeah here's that tricky section. There you go, no problem. Yeah, how many runs before this one did he, <laughs> did he fail on that? Yeah, I, I did say earlier that I thought this map wasn't as hard as it sort of looks. It is, it is hard in VQ3, don't get me wrong. VQ3 this is probably a much more difficult map. I wouldn't know because I'm too scared to play VQ3. I also thought there might be a shortcut around this section, but there's actually a trigger um, sort of across that lava lake to prevent you from shortcutting. Um, there's actually there's a lot going on in this map uh, in the background. So it's the sensory V well played. Yeah, and, and, and all the routes are kind of crossing each other all the time, so I just can't imagine from like a debugging perspective how, mm. how much of a pain it must have been to, to work on. But yeah. Next up we've got Compolimus 127. Yeah, like the work that has gone into this map for geometry and then artwork is insane. And then once you look at the triggers and how it all works, because you can see on the bottom right there's seven frags on this map, there's seven checkpoints that you have to pass through in order to. I didn't even map. notice that. <laughs> yeah, and if you if you like try and skip a section, because there's a lot of places where you can, like you say, there's inter inter changing. Uh, yeah, you can get like to that, that slick section pretty pretty quick from here mm -hmm. if you just wanted to drop down. Yeah, you can just drop yeah. down here, but you will eventually encounter a trigger that will prevent you from going any further because you don't have the correct amount of frags. It will just yeah. teleport you back to the last section that you need to be at. So there's a lot going on in this map, not just uh, geometry and artwork. So big shout outs to Boris, it must have been uh, a difficult Oh, process. overshot! That was too good a rocket. Yeah, this this section... jump actually, I really, it's horrible actually, I thought for some <laughs> reason that jump, but like, it's like, it should be so much easier than it is. Yeah, I know what you mean. Nice. Good rocket off the ramp. Oh, nice exit speed there. Oh, he's not messing around with these rockets. Yeah, this is a good section, well done. Really hard to maintain any speed through that last corner there. I, I haven't figured it out. Uh, ground boost and CPM just ground boost your your best or just try your hardest to slide through it. Next up, we got Joko once more in third place, one eleven point five. Nice side wall. Good speed through here. He steps up onto the top of the tree, the tremendous tree trunk triumph. Looking good. Uh, Yoko is a big fan of the rocket launcher, I know that for sure. Nice. 
Nice. nice. First try. Easy. Is this our first no fail run? Looks like it. Don't jinx it. Easy, mate. Easy. Alright, from now on, it's. Sort of, sort of... Well, that I failed so much here. Yeah. Getting the spacing got... right over that little river. I got screwed over by these, uh, the leaves here, the leaves even, more than a few times. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, it's so easy to kill everything, kill all your speed there. Well done. Nice, nice. Next up, we have Horus 109.8. <laughs> that's pretty damn fast for VQ3, man. I am curious if I haven't seen a. I haven't looked at the, the leaderboards to be fair. But I'm curious to see this map if it can be done in less than a minute in VQ3. I think it probably can. I think it's close enough that it's reasonable to assume that it's possible. Yeah. So that's your that's your homework for next week, viewers. Send me a Sub, sub 60, minute. yeah, sub 60 seconds run on this map at 3 Nice big jump, loads of height. I don't know, this run's pretty, pretty clean, man. Can always be faster. Oh, that was a good handling of that section. Yeah. Oh, he knows exactly what direction he's going. Great rockets here. Loses a bit of speed there. Excellent final section. Very well played. Nice. And in first place is the man himself. It's Boris 108.1. Shout out to Boris. Alright, so you reckon you there's an eight second saving on this on this run. Okay, let's yeah. let's see. Let's see. I mean we showed a demo from Zas on this map like a, a couple weeks ago on the um, like demos of the week. I don't remember what time it was, but I know it wasn't less than a minute. Nice rocket shooting himself down. Zas got a 101, says Screen Man in the chat. Oof. So, yeah, probably. Oof. I think I if you ask Zas if he can save one second on pretty much any run, he'll probably say yeah. Ah. Uh. Because it's us. Yeah, it's a bit of saving maybe on that section. Nice. Oh, okay. Really good rockets here. Yeah. Okay, gets a, gets an extra rocket in there as well. Kind of like slow it. on the climb compared to the previous run, but overall, very good run. Very good map. Big shout outs to Boris. Uh, looking forward to the next Boris map. Um, but that's not all for VQ3. We got a couple of demos of the week. And doesn't doesn't Boris do all the torture maps as well, though? There is. Uh, there's quite a few Boris torture yeah, maps. Yeah, so I, I look forward to the next non-torture Boris yeah, map. He's a little bit of a sadist, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. So this next map is um, it's a cause map, but it's a reversed version of the original because I I played as I played the original map, which is Cause Foo God. Um, mm, okay. And I played it once and I DM'd Cause straight after. I said, make a reverse version of this map because it's fun. I don't play think I played this one. Um, and not only that, it. it's a Zonder demo. We got Zonder back. Let's go. 45.3. So I recommend checking this map out, both the original and the reverse version. not ringing any bells yet. I think I might have seen you play this. Yeah, yeah I've played it on stream a couple of times. Yeah. This is altered slightly um, compared to it's not just a straight up backwards version. There are, there are some changes to make it play a bit better. Zonder, making it look easy. Kind of struggles in oh. that last section, but... It looks fun. Played. Looks yeah. like a fun map. It is a cool map. I recommend it. 
Um, next up, I don't know if we've shown this map. I know we've shown one of these all run maps on stream a couple of times actually, but this is one by Zas. Two minutes and twenty seconds, and it's just it's such a great map. Honestly, like the, the mapping skills on show here are fantastic. Massive shout outs to all because these maps, this series of maps, yeah. it's just awesome. Now, they're really hard as well. Yeah. <laughs> But the way he like makes you play through the same room twice, or maybe even three times. I'll tell you. I'll uh... tell you how far I got. I got to this room. I think. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just interwoven rooms. Like here, you're going back through this room again. Yeah. Slightly but just differently. Just utilizing the geometry in a different way to get. To yeah. Different... And there's over bounces all over the place. It's. it's just I don't think a... I figure. I don't think I figured that room out. To be honest, looking no. at looking at it, complete that. Yeah, Old is a, is a master at making these kinds of maps, and I love to see them. Zass oh. is a master at running them as well. So together, nice. It's just, it's what's great. the what's the benefit of the timed grenade there? I don't really know. I don't know. Maybe just you. flex. Just flex, possibly. <laughs> I do love the design of his maps as well, they look great. Yeah, the aesthetics quite pleasing. Yeah. I love a kind of Egyptian style like that's my jam. I love that shit. You like this making you do the, the plasma climb again, but you know, with more speed to get more height to progress to the mm. next room. I think it's just great. And then having to you have to fall down a certain distance there, because that trigger basically reverses your momentum. Uh, and look how precise Zasa is with it, like just barely grabbing that grenade. And then he go back down to that section again. OB. Into the OB. And I don't think Zasa is uh, too happy with that grenade. It didn't quite pop off the way he wanted it to. Yeah. Could have saved a bit of time firing it off a little earlier. But... Yeah, that's a terrible run. Yeah. Scrap it. Yeah, do it again. Start again, yeah. Incredible map, incredible runner. Massive shout outs. It's just, it's just mental. Like, I've been playing Defrag for years and I couldn't dream of finishing that map in yeah. anything reasonable. It's just, this game, man, this game is yeah. unbelievable. So moving into CPM, obviously we mentioned before MX Craven coming in with a 36 minute run. We're not going to take a look at that because we've all got better things to do with our time. Yeah, um, like watching my run. Well, like watching your run, yeah. One minute, 33 seconds. Let's go. Tell me about your experience. Um, yeah, I mean, the tricky bit in that you pointed out was tricky. Screwed yeah. me over many a time. But otherwise, <laughs> pretty good. Nice pre-fire just barely makes it up there. Those uh, the double jumps on those leaves as well was a bit. Yeah, the spacing awkward. sometimes screwed you over. I fell through many times. <laughs> I don't know if I got this plasma for my first time either. I think I might have screwed it over. Oh, you mean this know. isn't your first run? <laughs> nice little dip in the lava. Why not? Yeah, that work it works really well. <laughs> Alright, this, this needs a few attempts, I think. I believe. I see what you're trying to do with the wall scraping. Just, that's the thing, you need to accelerate, but not just too much. The right, right. Yeah. You need to get just the right boost here. There you go. Nice. That turn is super awkward. Go straight into the rockets. No. Tripped up a wee bit there. <laughs> Barely yeah. made that cross. And then in the last section. Nice well yeah. done. Not happy? too special. Nah, not really. But not what really. are you going to do? Well, yeah. What can you do? Uh, next Just... up, we got Sickly 111.5. Get good. Yeah. Simply improve. Nice pre-fire and the double jump. 
Ooh, what's the speed? Huge speed's coming over there. Almost too fast. Nice, gets a double jump on that. That sort of slick half pipe, quarter pipe, whatever. Uh, really important to get that in CPM. But it can be pretty difficult just because of how the ramps are. Because of how the ramps are. Ooh, a lot of speed out of there. Nice, look at that, huge. He might have even been able to... Oh, oh. no, sickly, no. I was just thinking he might have had enough height and speed to just go straight That's pretty good. The... He's done it twice in a row, though. That's pretty, yeah. pretty good. <laughs> Consistency. Nice rocket at the bottom. Decent rockets through that weird section. Didn't quite catch that uh, ramp the way you wanted to, but still made it work anyway. Yeah, I mean, I found that if you fired a rocket in that little uh, hallway at the end uh, against the wall, it was not as good as just getting one off at the at the ramp up. So. Yeah, like if you try trying to gain speed in that hallway is almost pointless because you already you get like over two k from yeah. the boost from the um, trigger. And then, like, trying to slick to gain more speed or trying to rocket to gain more speed, nine times out of yeah. ten, you end up just losing speed. So it's yeah. probably just better, better just to hit. not do anything. Exactly. Just fire a rocket at the bottom of the... the... Yeah. So the next chimney, up, let's call it. The chimney. Next up, uh, 104.3 from RDDPY. <laughs> Where is Raven's demo? Are we missing Raven's demo again in CPM? <laughs> I can't believe I've won that game. Have you? Yeah, I did. That's discrimination at this point, I know. Surely. <laughs> That's the second time in a row. Like, second week Animal. in a row I've done that. Animal-based discrimination. Okay, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. This is nice. Slight hesitation there, but makes it. First time. Massive speed through there. No rocket off the bottom, but a rocket off the side. That'll do. Let's hang it on. Double jump on that ramp will do. Wait. Nice. So it is pretty funny, though, how I. I downloaded Craven's demo knowing that I wasn't going to show it, and I somehow missed Raven's demo. <laughs> but yeah, just let's just jump Ooh, back a little bit. I just pipped Raven at the post, yeah, just, barely. just by a hair. Yeah. So we're going to jump back and look at Raven's run in CPM because we love Raven. We'd hate to exclude him. No pre-fire. Just goes to the double jump on the ramp. Oh, he had the he had the perfect speed and angle to shoot that pre-fire there but decides yeah. not to and goes for the goes for the stair route. Nice little wiggle. <laughs> yeah I reckon he might do the uh the grenade rocket stack first time. You think on, so? Uh, yeah. Let's find out. Oh, maybe not. He disappointed. Oh, oh, that was so good. Oh. There you he, go. He's All made, the way around. Oh my that. god! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does the round the corner and everything. Oh, he lost all his speed. Didn't get the boost from that trigger, but it's all good. Oh, he's lucky. He's lucky he managed to maintain the speed yeah. there, not too cool. I was saying, he's, he's making... It quite difficult for himself the way that he was gaining speed there through the uh, through that rocket grenade section. Looked quite uncontrolled. Yeah. Oh, that was risky. Yeah, I was like, well, I guess no then. need, no well, need, please. Raven. Cool. Uh, right up into third place we go. It's uh, 103 for FPS Cobra. Nice. 
huge speed there. Gets an extra rocket. Has to slow down for the rocket pre-fire, which, yeah, that's the thing. You can easily really go nice. too fast. Nice didn't, I didn't get too much height over that section either, so did spend a lot of time in the air. Great transition into the plasma climb. Oh no, has to take a, uh, take overshot a step it a bit, there. Yeah. Lost a second. Or oh, gained, gained a second? You know what I mean. Big jump. Oh, it could have could have potentially gone all the way around there. Oh, plays it safe. Big understandable. Speed. Nice rocket, Ooh, almost nice 1800 there. Big rockets. Gaines playing it super risky on this last climb. Like, doing yeah. a jump on the ramp there, it's almost always better to just slide up. Because it's yeah. a, like, if you time it perfectly and you get a great double jump there, don't get me wrong, that's going to be better. But nine times out of ten, just slide up that, that uh, quarter pipe and you will. Easily have enough speed uh, if you if you shoot rockets. That is uh, second place now for sensor AV. Very well played. It's a one hundred one point nine. Nice pre fire. Oh, okay. Hello, yo! Oh, and he oh. skips it. No way. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my days. I didn't even consider that. What a legend. That's great. Oh, that's a shame. If he didn't if he didn't just mess up that rocket and get too much height, <laughs> he would have beat your run. Yeah, maybe. Oh he skips oh, again. Oh <laughs> Okay, that's nuts. Sensor. I mean sensor deserves first place for all this creativity. Yeah, very creative, very nice. What else Not has he got? Not a massive exit. Anything in here? No. No, it's plain sailing here on out, I think. That rocket didn't hit anything. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh my god, we need to see and, that again. Um... Yeah, I didn't really kind of understand what he did even on the, on the rocket grenade stack. Man. Great stack here. And then play, gets a big jump here, shoots two rockets down at this corner, the corner. But you have to be doing the, like a thousand, you have to be doing like a thousand and fifty, a thousand and sixty to, to make this work. It's just yeah, so crazy. Skips that little red section down there entirely, jumps straight up to the top of the tree trunk. Great stuff. And then, is it here? Yeah, so, no, sorry, I'm an idiot. Now, this is where he messed up a little bit. Yeah. Too much height. Could have had another rocket going in there as well. And here's this where he where... does some craziness as well. So just rocket jumps straight up to this ramp. Gets the jump on the ramp. Doesn't use a grenade at all. The jump is enough to carry him all the Shit. way to the top here. Yeah, it's awesome. Sensor AV is... We'll, we'll take another look. Sensor AV yeah. is quickly becoming one of my favourite DF Comps players because it's always trying to be creative with his runs. And it's, it's a joy to watch. Yeah, I was going to say, how many UPS was he doing when he when he did that rocket jump? Yeah, we'll take one more look at it. Because honestly, this is way better than my run. Like, to forget my run, this is, this is the real one. Oh, don't do yourself a disservice. You'll run, you'll run a bit. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. Yeah, you kind of jealous. You didn't. You didn't. Yeah, I am. Work it out. <laughs> Great transition to the plasma as well. All right. So let's see how fast he was going when he did that rocket jump. It gets the nine fifty from the boost, and then. Up to about 1100, 1130. So not, yeah. not, not really that fast. No, that, like I say, the speed... Just hitting then, the ramp, right? Just hitting yeah. the ramp correctly. That ramp is so steep that if you hit it with a thousand ups, you're going to clear that gap, no problem. Yeah, it nice. Like, I mean, I haven't tried it myself, obviously, but... Yeah. Awesome run. Like, if, if he doesn't get an impressive medal for this run on DF Comps, I'm going to go mental. 
There's, there's impressive medals. I didn't yeah. even know that. At uh, who's, uh, whose discretion? Uh, I would imagine Nos, the uh, admin for DF Comps. Nice. It's just nice. a little, you know, the impressive icon for Quake 3. A little nod. Two rails. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so here we go. First place, it's me, Crazy L, one on one. It's it's not the best run, uh, and I it's your best been... run though. No, it isn't. Um, I'll what? Show you that. I'll show you that in a minute. <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah, if there were more better players playing, um, I obviously wouldn't have been first. I'm kind of disappointed actually in the community for not. We're not grinding yeah. this map and submitting because it's, it's an awesome map. If they'd spent be... half as much time chatting in the comments in Russia yeah. as they did actually running the map, there might actually be some decent submissions this week. Exactly. Lovely. Did I slow oh, down, slow yeah. down. Didn't quite I, make it. Far I didn't have to. I, I could have done it, but I didn't have the confidence. You know, like yeah, I had enough wanna... speed and height to get all, all the way around to get the rockets and. Didn't want to blow the run. Yeah. So you see, I've got no idea what direction I'm supposed to be going at yeah. the bottom of that thing. And then yeah, kind of that, screwed that up the end. Yeah, that corner screws button. everyone. Yeah. And then I got the... Honestly, I think I probably just overtook Sensor right at the end. Because I think my final climb was slightly faster than his. Yeah. I think I think he had you, really, in any other day of the week. Yeah. He would have had you. But, yeah. I mean, don't don't knock it. First is first. Sure, but I I give it to sensor. I would give it to sensor in a second because that run play, was play, way play yours more back impressive. again. Play yours back again. Let's have a look. Tommy, why did you go for the uh, rather than just going for a normal uh, wall rocket here? Here. Oh, because it looks cool. Behind that, is that it? it just looks sick. Like, yeah. Yeah, I thought it did, but I was just like, is there a reason? I just wanted to do the pod to be actually ground boost because it's, it's yeah. one of the most satisfying tricks and. And deep drag, I think. That was it. <laughs> There's nothing Fair more play. to it than that. It's probably not even like ideal. There, and no one so else did that either. Well. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't see like... anyone else do that. But I think it's better to shoot your shoot yourself off of the left wall, like the curved wall, down into that drop rather than go for some weird rocket pre fire thing like I did. <laughs> so confused to the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's like a huh coming out of there. Boom. There we go. Lovely yes, stuff. we can be. So we do have a couple more demos to check out, and I won't delay this one. Mac TF2 says wanked map. Yeah, that's the the context for that is in the DF comps comments. <laughs> so Fair. I. I was not satisfied with my one minute, one oh one time because I obviously wanted to. I was gunning for a sub sixty second run. For sure, yeah. Um, so I got this a couple of days later because I wanted to have it for this demo showcase, okay. this this show because I knew I could do it. So here we go, fifty six point seven for me because I knew I had it in me. And I kind of screwed up there. I didn't do the Potsubiasco ground boost that I liked yeah, so Yeah, the spacing didn't look amazing for it, to be honest. No, I screwed up like the first rocket, basically. Like the first rocket when you go up. And d double jump on that ramp, super important. Plasma here is a wee bit cursed. Ooh. Yeah, that was super fast because I got the rocket yeah, off. Yeah, okay. Before. This is where the game. This this is where you get in the games. A bit more. Yeah, look a bit like more I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, so actually a lot of the saving in that last third of the map, right? Last half, last third of the map. Yeah. Seems. So, yeah, at the start, I kind of my first rocket pushes me back away from the wall too much. Which is why I couldn't get, I didn't have the spacing like right here. It pushed me away from the tree. Okay, so I've got some homework for you, Al. Yeah. Next week, demo of the week, I want to see a run like this, but with the, the sensors uh, trick at the beginning. I mean, I'll try it. 
Give it a go. Yeah, absolutely. Let's let's see it. let's see how far because I reckon you could save a second on that time, easy. Get fifty five, I reckon. Yeah, I mean even without sensors, um creativity, I could probably save a second here anyway. Yeah. Just by being faster and cooler. Just by being more good. Yeah, nice. Yeah, very good. I will say I don't think sensors skip or if you can call it that at that section, like the grenades rocket. I don't think that's going to be better because the grenade rocket is going to give you so much speed, and you're not, you're not literally shortcutting. You're not doing anything. No. You know what I mean? So. It's just flex. Yeah. It looks awesome. Don't get me wrong. It's very yeah. cool. Um, very ballsy. Finally, we've got the Albron Two map again, but this time by Delta and CPM. Nice. Absolutely not designed for CPM at all. Well, that's what I was playing it in, so maybe that's that was my. Uh... Oh, nice skip. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> okay, interesting. So skips that section as well. Doesn't need to use the whole OP. Free fire. Yep. Hmm. Gravity doing the work for you. There you go. Double jump saves that section as well. Nice little wall strafe there as well. Wiggle, wiggle. Uh, yeah, the wiggle here will hit wiggle and the double jump will save you a lot of time in that one. Oh, and he just goes straight oh. across. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Not sure how that works. CPM. It's broken because CPM. Yeah. Much nicer grenade boost there than Sasko. Yeah. And again, here's the CPM coming into play. Ruining the map. 30% nicer, I'd say. <laughs> there you have it. Shit. You can see how, how much CPM makes it more difficult to be super creative or like as creative because you wouldn't see a map like i don't think you'd see as interesting a map and see yeah. if, if it's designed for cpm anyway but who yeah. knows maybe i'm wrong and i don't know what i'm talking well, about. well i think just possible. maps that excel with cpm are just they're just different they're just tailored to a different type play style i guess yeah not Maybe, as intricate um, necessarily not as i don't i think it's it's interesting because you have more tools in CPM, but somehow when you watch that run in CPM versus that run in VQ3, it looks way more creative in CPM. Like, limitation breeds creativity, almost. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, but I think that's because the map is VQ3 focused, so it's just... True. you're And because CPM, because of air strafe, you've got, like, less limitation. Mm -hmm. You're just able to break the rules, so it looks more creative because you're breaking more rules, I think. Rules. That's that's my assessment anyway. Come back next week for more. Yeah, it's something to think about. Answers on a postcard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, massive shout outs to everyone who played. Apologies to Raven for missing your demo again. I promise it won't happen ever again. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't get over that run from Sensor. That was super impressive, and I loved every second of it. I'm going to go and try some of the, try out some of those tricks uh, on Boris Canopy myself. Nice. And maybe this time next week I'll have a better demo to show off. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, that's all the demos we have, I'm pretty sure. Have you tried uh, this week's map yet? I haven't. I haven't had a look. Even. I have tried it. And this is here's proof that I don't just like maps because they have weapons in them, because I don't like that map. I don't think I'm going to grind that map. Protoss 2. Yeah. yeah. It's got BFG on it, to be fair. like I haven't got to yeah. the BFG part yet. Like the first sort of sections of the map aren't that fun for me, so I haven't. I've, as we I've think been more we focused says, on this map. As we as we think we is says this map would be a banger without the grenade section, in my opinion. Okay, well, ah, yeah, we shall I see. know the grenade section. He means, um, we but yeah, see. We'll, we'll we'll see that next week. Cool. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you, Chris, for joining me once again. As always, pleasure. Love to have always you a pleasure. Here. And yeah, we'll be back next week. So we'll see you then. Cheers. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.